When seen from space, water predominates on the Earth. The oceans cover over 70% of the Earth's surface. It is difficult to believe that the human population is capable of threatening this immenseness. The beaches are the most desired tourist destinations in the world. These areas have always fascinated humans with its long maritime line of rare natural portrait. But the utilization of the beaches for recreation and tourism is known to have significant social and economic impact in these areas. For oceanographers, the scientific term for these areas is coastal zone. It refers to a large geographic area in which the marine and terrestrial factors mix to produce a unique form of land with ecological marine systems. Zone can be utilized as a limited area with a lot of interactions between the terrestrial and the marine areas in ecological, social, economic, and cultural ways. Many beaches around the world are still being subjected to erosion due to improper coastal practices, human greediness, and local political pressure for the convenient use of the coastal areas. The coastal areas have been going through an intense process of occupancy without sustainable planning, nor the infrastructure necessary to promote the conservation of the natural resources for the next generations. The coastal zone is extremely important and is showing vulnerabilities. The human predatory interference in this biodiversity exploits the resources and threatens the marine food chain. Global warming has come faster than the scientists have predicted. The increasing sea level, directly associated with the melting of the Antarctic, and the extinction of a good part of the world's biodiversity is a part of our actions and how we treat the environment that offers us everything free. It seems that the future is uncertain for resolutions of the coastal zone problems. Environmental communication depends on people's perceptions of their surroundings. The participation of the population is primordial for the development of a sustainable island society. I spoke with Dr. Ken Sanders, chairman and president of Ocean Network, a Hawaiian cable channel dedicated to our ocean, seas and waterways. 
We discuss environmental communication on television and the importance of educating population about our oceans. How have the oceans been impacted by the recreation and use of the coastal zone? Sometimes it's harmful. Um, I would say on the whole it's been governed well enough that it's not too, too terrible. But um, when, when people go out and walk on the coral reefs, uh, they may damage it. And, and so the universities, the um, NOAA, the orga big organization, any organization that can try to help govern that uh, does, as they should. And, um, but the more the public can learn about it, the better. So they don't go out and get stung by a jellyfish or something. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of those kinds of things that they just should learn on their own.